Friday lunch for the Blind Factory, Melbourne's most talked about blind company, and Belmont Stereo, Victoria's longest established Bose dealer. Warning, Simon Owens, part two, DD, part one, and uh, Dennis Walter, part whatever. It is time for Friday lunch, and the afternoon program for ENS Trading with a renovator sale. It ends on Sunday, estrading.com.au. Dot AU. Dee Dee, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Dennis. How are you? And Simon Owen's making a lot of noise uh, in the background. Good that's, afternoon. That's better. Yes, hello, Dennis. You're hello, Dee Dee. You're comfortable now, Simon. Uh, your headphones were crook. Oh, they were, so they're down there on the... That's uh, right. That will have fixed them when you flung them across the yes, studio. Yes, the technical the department would be thrilled to know their <laughs> headphones are being thrown like a temper tantrum well, of a child. Well, they but, know, after, after any studio I've been in, they know that when they walk in, it, whatever's on the floor needs replacing. But remember it's, when it's the telly system. used to go on the blink and Dad would go up and give it a thumb on the side? Don't do that the anymore, old do we? Astor, no, but it, no it would often fix the thing, that the old knockometer. It would. <laughs> the Fonzie move. Mm. Thump something and it'll work for you. I've yeah. got a topic. Well, before you do that, can I just yes. say, what an, uh, thank you, Dennis, of course, for having me in, but what an honour it is to work with Dee who I have admired oh, for many years. Out. Well, hang no, on, you haven't true. done it yet. Can you just reserve? We'll ask you one minute <laughs> exactly, to, if you're yeah. still happy that's about true, it. yeah. That's, that's got a whole hour You're very kind. I'm disappointed. Yeah. I know you've got a topic, Dennis. Well, there's no... What, working with me? No, it's lunch, and it's oh. lovely. There's lovely sandwiches brought to us by someone. Um, but Emerald then, Cafe, South Melbourne Market. Oh, is that it, Dennis? Yeah. Emerald Deli. Right. Uh, but there's no black... Burgers, they're at the buzz thing. Have you seen the picture of the black burger black today? Black burger? It's, no. They're introducing them in uh, Japan, I think. It's one of the burger chains. I'm not sure which. It's called the Kuro Burger, which Kuro. I believe means black. And the bun is black. Could have been the Schwarz Burger. If you're in Germany, it yes. would. Yes, okay. And the cheese is Shut black. Up. And everything's black in it. I think they use Sounds a, great. bamboo charcoal. Right. It's making you a bit bilious. Is this making your stomach It's turn? not making me Generally, go, I want to go and get a kuro burger. Exactly. The only things in it with colour will be the lettuce and the tomato if you have the diamond version of it. So and if you wait a week, they'll be black too. Isn't it horrible? <laughs> yes. Just put them out to get... But there is black. no... There is no... I don't want to eat black food. No, black is not a colour you associate with food. In exactly. Any way, it is on some people's barbecues. Burnt There's onions. There's nothing black... That tastes good. But, but what? Is licorice? It? No, oh, bad taste. Yeah. Oh, no, licorice. Do you oh, like licorice? Oh, I love a bit of licorice. Ugh. Licorice. Do you, oh, I love licorice. And if you've got a, a bad throat, licorice little buds or licorice tea is fantastic. Really? Licorice it's sort tea. of an anti-inflammatory. Oh. Well, listen to me, the old naturopath. My, I, I just have been told all this. I have relatives from <laughs> But Italy, I know it works. And over, the, over there they make these liqueur things. You, you would have seen limoncello or whatever it's, it's called, the lemon. Are we all going to go into accents today? Can you do curo again, please? <laughs> curo. And limoncello? I, I thought I said that with an Australian accent. No, you didn't. You drifted. Limoncello. Yeah. Australian. Uh, Can you yeah. say it like that? Limoncello. Yeah, I, I had a glass of limoncello. Just think of John Williamson. But they, they make one... I think I sounded like Julia Gillard when I was <laughs> doing my Australian accent. Go on. Community. But they make a licorice one, an aniseed liqueur, and it, oh. I but could, it's not black. That I would be literally... clear, wouldn't it? Oh, well, yes, but it, I, I was sort of going back to the licorice. Jelly Sounds beans. Sweet. Jelly beans. I rest oh. my case. They're oh, black disgusting. jelly beans. The black ones are horrible. Oh, well, no we can share. We'll share a packet, and I'll have the black ones. Do you, you can eat... have the rest. Ugh. Oh, I love them. Pudding? They make your teeth Pudding? Awful, black but... pudding is horrible. Mm. Mm. Pudding is no. bl um, blood, blood, isn't it? Yeah. I've never had it. <sighs> Nine six nine hundred six nine three. Can I get to my and, and that's a topic. No. What things that are black taste good? Nine six nine hundred six nine three. I well, saw your little well, eyebrow Yes, raise. Simon. Well, at twelve past one, we'll get that topic. Will take us right through to thirteen. Past no, I've one. got another one. I have another one. All right. When products become bigger than the activity, for instance. Apple. No. Y yes. Um, when you're going to surf the net and people say, no, you're going to Google something. So yes. Google's become... Mm. Mm. You're I going see, to... the brand becomes the definitive item. Yes. I, oh, I've got I another see. one. Yeah. Mm. You don't go out and high-pressure hose the uh, outside of your house, do you? You carcher it or gurney it. Gurney it. Well, the you English gurney. say, I'm, I'm hoovering. I'm, do, I'm doing yeah, the hoovering. Doing the hoovering yeah. Whereas we don't say that. So you don't say I'm Dysoning. Yeah. I have a mate who's known as Hoover, and that's the speed he eats at. <laughs> nine six nine hundred six nine three. How is Annie? <laughs> uh, Brendan, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Dennis, um, Dee Dee, and Simon. How are you? Hi, Simon. Yeah, uh, Brendan, sorry. Hello. Listen, there's a whole lot. Of, there's a tram broken down on the corner of Chuak Road and Kilda Road. There's a whole lot of banked up trams, and drivers not knowing what to do. 
Oh, that's all right. It's a nice, quiet corner, so yeah. no one will notice. We, we organise that because we love a captive audience. Good on you, Brendan. That's annoying, isn't it? Uh, mm. No good. No good. Sam, good afternoon. Hi, Dennis. How are you? Good. I just wanted to let you guys know that the Italians make a beautiful black sauce, <laughs> which uh, comes out of a squid. Oh, <laughs> yes. And yuck, it is yuck. absolutely magnificent. And if you're in Italy and you have to buy it in Italy, it costs you an absolute arm and a leg. It cost that to the octopus as well. Yeah, well, yeah. several. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can't say I go for squid ink. No. Or I've, only, I've had it once, and it was it was it was lovely. Stephen. <laughs> Sorry. Good afternoon, ladies and gents. Black icing on a family birthday cake. Yeah. Yeah. What? No, but that what, must what, be what? aniseed flavour, is it? No, 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 no. What I do is, is we make a cake. Everybody makes a cake at different times for different birthdays for different members. We have a large family. Rainbow cake. Different rainbow flavours, colours, flavours orange through the cake. Icing with black icing, maybe with orange flavouring through it, but the icing colouring is just black. Everyone would look terrible after eating that. Do you get black lips? <laughs> the teeth. No, it doesn't leave, doesn't leave any colour or anything anywhere. No, oh, because sometimes when that black sort of breaks down a bit, it ends up blue, doesn't it? If yeah, you've eaten a lot of. Do you remember choo choo bars? Yes. When oh, you'd suck on a choo choo bar. Yes. Gee, they were good value. Yeah. How so much you like were they? them? No. They, they were no. 15 cents when no, I was No, but little. it was. A, Fifteen. Fifteen cents. With inflation, about four dollars thirty. <laughs> uh, Luke, good afternoon. G'day, guys. One of the products that's had the um, one particular model taken over the you know the the whole thing is the Jaws of Life. It's a hydraulic cutter or spreader, and one brand has the Jaws of Life, but everyone else Jeff has calls it that. Hy hydraulic spreaders or cutters. Yeah, that's that's a, a good example. Uh, the one I had isn't as uh, good as that, but it was Windsheeter. Yes. Now, you wear a windsheet, and that's actually a brand name. What you're wearing is some sort of top. You're right. But and Sloppy Joe was the precursor to the windsheet. Yes. Didn't yes. we have Sloppy Joes in, right. Right. in the uh, 80s, Luke, 70s? Luke. Yeah. When you say ham, what do you You don't say ham anymore, do you? What do you say? <laughs> Oh, I'd say one of those two kilos batokis. Uh, it's a mini easy cut, actually. You mightn't be up to the two kilo, but it's yours. Bataki, simply the best. Uh, traffic alert a few minutes ago. There's an effective tram on St Kilda Road. Southbound trams diverting via Turek Road to Glen Ferry Road. Sam? Good afternoon, Dennis, Simon and Didi. Uh, there's, you were talking about jelly beans. Well, the, guess what? There's actually, you can buy packets of black jelly beans yuck. only. Yeah. Yuck. Yuck. Yeah, and I say yuck too because of the taste. Mm. And my kids love sucking on them and then going, look, Mum, and it's all around their teeth. It's in there. Oh, it's disgusting. Especially that, when they dribble too. Oh. Horrible. What's Horrible. in a black forest cake? Well, it's just very, very dark chocolate, isn't it? I've never had one. I've Have heard you? of it. I've seen You've never had black forest. No, I'm not a sweet tooth, so I miss out on all those things. But it's a combination of dark, a dark chocolate cake and cherry, I think, in a black forest There's, cake. I, I can't believe you've never had black forest cake. There's another topic oh, of that, that is entirely. It's a German cake. What is the thing that everyone else has had that you've never done? Twisties. Another topic. You've never had twisties. Don't like them. Really? really? You've had them. No. You've tried them. No. The smell the smell of them. me. Hate the smell. Okay. Mm. Is there anything uh, you my, do like? <laughs> Mine, <laughs> it's a very negative I'm hour. On <laughs> twisties and black stuff. <laughs> I, twisties and black stuff. Okay. Mine, mine's not a food thing, but you know what? I've never done that. Everybody else has done. I've, I've never seen a James Bond movie. What? Yeah. I've only seen a couple. Uh, what is wrong with you? Oh well, I've, I've seen bits, Where do we but start? I've never sort of yeah. sat down and, and watched one from start to finish. So I've, I've wonder, seen scenes from. Dennis, I wonder which one then we should recommend to Simon as his first one. If you're going to start, I'd start at with the beginning. One. No, because some of them were really lame. The one that had um, Halle Berry in, she's such a beautiful girl, but she's a real vibe suck on the screen. Yeah. And that one was terrible. I can't remember what it was called. No, I don't remember. Mm. Do you like Scylla Black? Yes, I grew up on her. You know why? Because the real name's Priscilla White. See? The, you, Is it really? Yeah, you mightn't have liked her if she was no, just... I didn't like that. 96900693. Die You're... Another Day was the movie. Die Another mm, Day. All right. With Halle Berry. Vibe suck. Bad but movie. It, but I'm now, see, I'm trapped in this thing now. If I watch one, then I can't tell that as a story anymore. I'd go for one of the more... And perhaps people have got recommendations, but um, one of the more recent ones with... What's his name? Daniel Craig. Yeah. A bit, a bit, a bit of Pierce Brosnan's all right. Well, let's see, I, I was a Pierce Brosnan fan when he was doing Remington Steel, and at that time I thought, he should be James Bond. 
And it happened like 20 years later. I think he was... Does another of... Simon Owens prediction come true? <laughs> <laughs> he was oh, generally so regarded as the lamest of the Bonds, though, oh, wasn't really? he? Pierce Brosnan, yes. Oh, okay. He's a bit too pretty. And apparently Timothy Dalton was the closest to oh, the no, actual was, written was character. No, yes. he was the one that was the lamest. Oh, OK. Yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I think he only did one. Mm. Yeah. One. Yeah. yeah, but he's done other stuff uh, since then. Nine six nine hundred six nine three. Thank you to all the patient callers. We'll get to you after these. The blinds are part of the great new product range from the Blind Factory. Q Motion Roller Blinds look fabulous on any window in your home or your office. They're battery operated, so no electrician required for installation, and they're cordless, which is a safety feature, a big one. And they can be operated by remote control, which is convenient. And as the Q in Q Motion implies, they are super quiet. You can even download an app to, create, to operate them via your mobile phone. Roller blind technology has come a long way, and the Blind Factory is right there to bring you all the latest advances. Learn more at theblindfactory.com. What are you laughing at? At theblindfactory.com.au. Sorry, I wasn't going to interrupt because I'm used to commercials having to be timed. And you're eating. Mm, there's that as well. But I, I just had the laughing thought that you can control the blinds with your mobile phone, but I won't be satisfied until you open the blinds and your phone rings. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, it was pointless. Foolish, foolish man. I should have just shut up. Theblindfactory.com.au or call 13Blinds. Enjoy ultimate comfort. Oh, um, what, Sean Connery. Sean Connery? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm worried about him. And a bit of Roger... Who, Simon? Yeah. <laughs> well, a little bit about Simon, no, yes, just for general reasons. But um, Sean Connery, because he wasn't part of the games in Glasgow. I mean, you'd think if, and I know he's an Edinburgh yes. man, but you would think if they, they were going to wheel someone out, yeah. that he'd be there well, and he wasn't, which made me worry about his health. Oh, there might be some. Maybe he's filming. Mm, I don't think so. You'd pre record something at least. Oh, There's a topic. So. Where is Sean Connery? <laughs> Ron, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, things, black things that taste good. I'm going for top shelf stuff and black truffles. Yes, Ron, okay, I stand corrected. You're absolutely right. I work nights, Ron. I can't afford truffles. Are they good, are they? Do you know what you can get that's a bit more affordable and tastes good if you make mashed potato with garlic in it and truffle oil? You can get a tiny little bottle of truffle oil. If you have too much, it oil. overpowers, though. Yeah, yeah. You only want a wincy little bit, but it's magnificent. A wincy. You know what I don't... I love those things. <laughs> you know what overpowers <laughs> everything that it's in? Coriander. I love oh, coriander. So oh. do I. Thank you, Dennis. High five. Well, do you want this one, then? <laughs> My <laughs> husband hates it, though. Oh, he's going to die sick. Oh, <laughs> Andrew McLaren the second. My husband wants to make T-shirts with, like, you know, the Ghostbusters logo with a line across the ghost, like, don't, mm. you know, stop. He wants to do coriander. Coriander ones. No coriander. Yeah. He won't even speak to me if I've been eating it, because apparently my breath smells from coriander. Coriander. It's, it's interesting. It polarises people. Mm. Yep. But most people love it, I no. think. Olives, it's another thing I hate. Yeah, black I'm not olives. An olive, oh, I'm not an olive olives. fan. No, no, not an olive fan. Oh, them. yes. V Vince, hello. Yeah, afternoon, guys. I've got a couple. The Walkman and the Esky. Yes. Yeah, very good. Yes. yes. Yeah. We don't have uh, uh, coolers, we have Eskies. Or the New Zealanders it's... call them chili buns, don't they? Chili buns. Chili buns. The chili bin. I've never heard of a chili Haven't bin. You? No. It was a cricket coverage once, and they said something about, oh, and they've all got their chili bins. Chili bins. Chili Thank bottoms. you, Vince, the Walkman, <laughs> yes. Uh, Natalie. Yeah, good day. How are you going? Good. Oh, that's good. Um, something that everyone has done but I haven't done and I cop a lot of heat for it is um, order a chicken parmigiana. I've never had a, a chicken parma. You've never oh, had heavens. a parma. I know. And you know what? Every time it comes to the table, I stare at it and go, oh, my God, that looks amazing, but I never, ever order it. Isn't well, it's it? just they're everywhere. They're in every pub in Melbourne. Mm. So yeah, it's it's un-Australian. I'm yes, sorry, so Natalie. You, that's the de deportation. Uh, that Natalie. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Not what, welcome here, I'm afraid. Why don't you have one? <laughs> no. Well, you know what? I think I'm a bit scared to order one now because a couple of years ago I read that it's like the worst thing in terms of um, you know weight gain. It's the worst thing that you can order, and now I'm a bit scared to order one. Oh no, no. Well, I'm fat, no. and I rarely have parmigiana. Yeah. There's a lot of other things. <laughs> Natalie, good luck with it. You must try one. Val, hello. Well, hello, folks. Dee Dee, yes. if your husband wants to have them made up, I'll buy one from him. The corian no Absolutely. coriander t-shirt. No coriander. <laughs> Don't encourage him. In fact, he... I'll buy ten of them. Oh. How does he go with basil? <laughs> He's all right with any of the other herbs. It's That's basil the herb coriander. I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, Linda, good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon. How are you guys? Good. Good. Uh, well, your yeah, family must be different to yours. They love everything that's black. Black licorice, black jelly beans, oh. um, jelly beans, and you know that you can still buy choo-choo bars? 
Can yes, you? Yeah, yeah. Yes. They yes. used to be five cents, didn't they? Oh no, they're about three dollars fifty now. No, no way. Yeah, it wasn't far off. Yes, yes, no. they are in little um, boutique lolly shops. Get out of here. Yeah, the, they used to be five cents. Remember, in the caramel squares, where you get two for a cent. Yep. And because they were cheap, you would get those. I've got something I reckon you're going to say I love this. <laughs> Vegemite. Yuck, I hate it. Oh. Now you're becoming un Australian. I won't try Marmite. Yeah, yeah, Marmite's no good, but Vegemite. <laughs> Vegemite's a wonderful thing. We have Vegemite, with your poached, your poached egg on toast Don't. with Vegemite. Yes, that's what oh, he no, does. That's... Oh. And he does a thing when he comes home from the surf called a cheese melty. White, soft white roll, that's not good for you. Um, cheese and Vegemite and in the microwave for, I think, 40 seconds. So yeah. it goes all squishy. That'd, yep. that'd be all right. You've, you've never had worms then? Where, oh, you, well, yeah. where you get the salad. Oh, the Vegemite worms. It's, we used yeah. to do them at high school, yeah, yeah. where you get... Fancy um, asking Betty if she's had worms. <laughs> oh, what is this? Oh, <laughs> you two are fitting in perfectly. Uh, Wendy, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. I've got one for you, a black food. Yeah. Um, don't get it very often because it's a bit pricey and it's milk. Have a guess. Um, milk. It's milk. Black milk. No, not milk. It's milked to get it. Oh. Oh. Okay. I'm a bit scared. What? What would that be, Wendy? Ah. Uh, what? Oh, sorry. Caviar. Oh. Oh, that's very course. fancy pants. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I do like that. <laughs> I love this echo. I you <laughs> uh, Wendy, thank you. Dave, hello. How you going, Dennis and everybody? Very good. Yeah, what's Things your story? Things that I haven't done. I've never used a computer, mobile phone or credit card. You related to David Mann? Right? No, I'm, I'm over 50 and I, think I might be a bit of a technophobe, but I've never actually got around to doing all that. What are you ringing us on? A landline. Oh. Is it an old Bakelite phone with a dial? Yes. No, not a... <laughs> no, it's it's a, it's... It's one of those press button ones, but it's it's just a normal landline phone, that's all. And Dave, do people constantly try and talk you into getting on a computer and stuff? Oh, some people, they get mad at me because I don't own a computer. And uh, I'm not saying I'll never get around to it, but I've never, I've never like I said, I've never had a credit card uh, computer or uh, there was something else I haven't done. Uh, mobile phone, and uh, yeah, mobile phone, I've never and used one. And you know what, Dave? I reckon your life would be a lot less stressful than most of ours because of it. Probably. Yeah, uh, yeah so that's, that's what the three different things I haven't done. Good on you, Dave. Okay. Great call, thank you. Michelle. Hi, uh, Michelle. Before I say about um, Sean Connery, can I say that I love black olives. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I, I love Vegemite, mm -hmm. and coriander is fantastic, especially in wonton soup with sesame oil. Correct. Oh, that sounds nice. Now about Sean Connery, he's a separatist, and I wondered if he didn't want to be there because they were part of the UK. I don't know. I, as I understood it, he was part of the planning committee for the games, and so I just found it very unusual that he wasn't there, and that's what made me concerned about his health that he wasn't actually part of the opening or closing ceremonies. But um, maybe, Michelle, That I don't could know. be it. Though. Maybe it's one of those things where, Paul, you know, if he's part of the planning committee, he doesn't want to sit there and say, oh, and of course I should be there. He's waiting <laughs> for someone else to say it. And everyone's made the assumption he's going to be oh, part of I it. Oh, I see what you mean. And he's, yes. he's, he's thinking, I'm not going to say I should be there. I'll wait for someone else to bring it up. It's too embarrassing. But now it's gone. Yeah, and then he missed the, missed the boat. We've got a problem on the Tuller. David, what, what's happening? Hi, how are you going? Um, yeah, I'm just inbound to the airport on the Tullamarine Freeway. It's about a kilometre before the airport. Um, it looks like there's just a pedestrian almost walking in the middle of the road on the freeway, so I just want traffic to be careful. On which side? Inbound? Uh, inbound towards the airport, so going through the airport, about a kilometre out. But just if... near Micklem Road, just past the Micklem Road turn off. But even if people are outbound, how that person may be, end up on the other side of the, on the other side. David, if you've got time, call, uh, give the police a call if you haven't done so already, because they probably need to jump in there. Go and pick him up, yeah. So, so if you're anywhere near the airport, about a kilometre from the airport, in either direction, just be aware there is a pedestrian on the uh, actual highway. And it's not like Bruce's in Canada, so we know it's not him. It's not Bruce. And out and about. No, what's he doing in Canada? I don't know. He's, he's on one of those um, cruises that he takes. 
Off Every year for the passage. last 12 years or so. Yeah, off he goes. Take the listeners with him. Good on him. Wouldn't that be fun, travelling with Bruce? 29 to 2. Uh, Tony Tardio, good afternoon. He goes up the inside passage, doesn't when, he, uh, Simon? That's twice it's been Bruce. mentioned, yes. Every time. That's how he gets home. <laughs> Sorry, it's been mentioned before. Places <laughs> uh, and barbecues have been an institution in Geelong for over 30 years. Just talk amongst yourselves, you two. So, selling the best in gas log fires. Say hello to Greeny. Hello, Greeny. Hello, Greeny. Greeny. Uh, gas log fires, wood heaters and barbecues. Uh, classic fireplaces, experienced stuff. John Green and all the team, they can show you all the major brands. Latest designs, latest models from... Do they assemble them for you? I think so, yes. My wife bought a barbecue and it's sitting in a box in our lounge room. <laughs> I actually, on the Father's Day, made a future rule. Yeah. Never give me anything I have to assemble. Really? This I is love too it. Much, too yeah, much I, swearing. I love it. I, 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 I actually carry an Allen key with me. <laughs> I love it. I'm ready for anything. I, I've always thought, oh, sorry, you've got a live read today. I'll shut up. Classic specialising in energy efficient gas log fires and wood heaters. So if it's warmth that you want, drop into our showroom yep. and see John Green and the team at Classic Fireplaces and Barbecues. They're at uh, 99 West Fine Street, Newtown. Or visit them online, classicfireplaces.com.au. All the major energy-efficient gas log fires. Go and say hello to John Green at Classic Fireplaces and Barbecues. Over the years... Tom Jones will be here in two weeks and one day. I'm thrilled. Why are people so turning their noses up? He's brilliant. He's, he's the perfect entertainment. Yeah. yeah. You, know, you know who I said, I've been saying for years, there is one person who they need to get to do the grand final entertainment because he'd be like Lionel Richie was. Yeah. Lionel Richie was great because he didn't take himself so seriously. Yeah. He was just out there for fun. And Tom Jones will be the same. Tom Jones will be the same. The third person, who the trifecta, I think, would be David Hasselhoff. He'd be all right. How does would he, he be? Yeah, what does he do? Oh, yeah, he's a singer. He was a he big sings. singer in Germany. Actually, yeah, you're right, because the younger generation are onto him as well. Yep, he was he... a short singer in every other country, but very big in Germany. <laughs> Nine six nine hundred six nine three. But you can imagine in, when he uh, launches into My, 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 De Delilah, mm. yeah. the yep. crowd's going to go nuts. Yeah, yep. Yeah. 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 I'm excited already. Sport. Yeah. Matthew. G'day, guys. Happy Friday. Tune to you. Thank you. I've got a couple of brand names that completely took over the product. The first one being Rollerblade. Oh. Oh, yeah. Because they're actually inline, inline, inline skates. skates. Mm -hmm. And the second one is Windsurfer. Yes, you're right. Because they're only sailboards. Yeah. yeah. Yes, there are quite a few. I could only think about three, but uh, there are quite a few. Um, the other one, iPhone. I mean, when people are talking about... Um, their telephones, they'd be yeah. talking about their iPhone, but you don't necessarily do that with your... You don't say, oh, I'm a Samsung. No, we're supposed to say smartphone to cover all of them. Yeah. Something like that. Out mm. of two today, are you a Bolton the Beautiful fan? Uh, funnily enough, I'm not, but Grubby loves it. Yeah, Bruce loves it too. He he sits in here and watches Bolton the Beautiful, Neighbours, Home and Away, then it's comes on air and says, so what happened today, Phil? It's stupid, Joe. <laughs> I used to catch the tail end of it when I was waiting for five, five o'clock news to come on. And there'd always be someone just standing behind a door that was just open a tiny crack. That's right. And they'd be listening in to what was happening. And in the other room would be two other people staring at each other intensely. Actually, yeah. here's, here's where a character has become bigger than the person, because I didn't know that the person who played Brooke Logan was actually named Catherine Kelly Lang. Oh. And neither oh. did you, Simon. I can tell by the look on your that blank, vague look on she your face. She's a woman of big lips. My standard um, got huge lips. Well, she might Dark. have now. The last time I saw it, she had normal lips. <laughs> but her lips will be but down the Great Ocean Road this weekend. If you're talking to her after the news, let's just say that she's beautiful. Yes. Because <laughs> you don't want her to cancel the interview. She's the beautiful part of it, isn't she? Who's the bold? I don't Wasn't know. That, didn't Ridge go? I know that much. Ridge, Ridge, ba ba what was his name? Um, Ridge Mombasa. No. No, Ron Forrest. Moss. Ron Moss. Ron Moss. And he was a good sport. He came out here at, at one yeah, stage. Yeah. yeah, he's been out a couple of times, yeah. Oh, he's coming to the Palms very soon. A voice in my ear has just whispered. Uh, that bled right through the microphone. Everyone he's, at home heard that as well. Yeah, well. He's got a very loud voice. <laughs> oh, is that uh, Vic, Nathan? Yeah. Vicky, good afternoon. Hi, guys. How are you? Hi, Vicky. <laughs> um, just wanted to let you know, Black Food, Choo Choo Bars, oh, I'm pretty sure I saw him in the reject shop. Oh, well, okay. That's, a bit that's where um, <laughs> Dee Dee probably thinks they belong. Oh, no, you like them. Well, you no, know, you don't I don't like, like them. them. No, I just used to eat them because it's all I could afford. They I've, were five cents. I've been sent some information from Hong Kong via uh, technology. Mm -hmm. Darren is listening. Uh, the black burger is nothing new. We had black and white burgers at McDonald's here in Hong Kong a few months ago, and he sent photos of them. Wow. Oh. Yuck. Y you're not going for a burger. You're going to Macca's. Oh, you're going to Macca's? Oh, yeah. yeah Mac one. Macca's yes. is... 
Yeah. But but Macca's isn't the overriding brand name for all junk food. No. You don't say, I'm, I'm going to get Macca's if you're going to Pizza Hut. That's true. Hmm. Oh, you have a Sorry stupid comment you. by me. Uh, Michelle. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I've run, almost run out of the black foods, but they've taken a few of them. Uh, poppy seeds, black currants, blackberries. Yes. And a gorgeous liqueur called Opal Nero. I don't know about the liqueur, name. but your oh. other three were very good. Yeah, they are nice. Yeah, black, what were they? Blackberries, black currants and... and poppy seeds. Yeah, love them. Love them. Remember the episode of Seinfeld where um, Elaine had, had some opium or something in her system? She went and had a blood test and they found the drugs in her system. It turned out she'd been eating all the poppy, poppy seeds, seeds off the top of the muffins. And if you have a lot of poppy seeds, there's opium in them. I didn't know that. It must be yeah. a special type of poppy seed. They wouldn't just you'd be have selling to eat them. A lot to, of them. Well, they wouldn't have them at the school canteen, would they? Well, you'd hope the, not. You see, <laughs> see people now flooding into coals to go to the Master <laughs> Foods rack. We've started something here. Um, a caller tells us Ridge is back on the show, but oh. played by another actor. No. Uh, Ron Moss wanted too much money. You can't replace I hate it that jawline of Remember Ron Moss. Remember they did that on the Brady Bunch with Jan, with didn't Jan, they? Yeah. They brought some other girl in. It wasn't her, or was it Marsha? And the, and the, no, it was Jan who, who got replaced when they did the, the Brady variety show. That's right. And when and they did uh, Rescue from Gilligan's Island, Tina Louise had cracked the sads and didn't want to play Ginger, so they oh. got another actress for that. And oh, no, you had to have her. the yeah. Roseanne Barr family, yeah. one of the daughters, Becky. They brought in a new Becky, but they openly addressed it on the show and made jokes about how different Becky looked and stuff. Oh, that's did, that's they, a good way to do it. Mm. They did that with The Simpsons when they did the, an episode sending the, the taking the Mickey out of the um, the Brady Bunch variety show. They did a Simpsons one, yeah. and they had this tall blonde girl playing Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, Sally, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Dennis and Simon and DD. Uh, Dennis, I want to ask you if my favourite... 70s song is on your new CD, 70s one. It's called You To Me Are Everything by The Real Thing. You To Me Are Everything, sweetest song your heart can sing, oh baby, oh baby. Oh, is that on your album, she's asking? Uh, no. No. No, no it isn't, Sally. May, maybe on the next one. There's so many songs, uh, and you've got to be able to, you've got to get the permission to actually release them as well. Speaking of your album, I had a call from a, a lovely friend of yours, Tarin from Adelaide, formerly Emma. Yes. Um, who said last night that she was very disappointed to find out that you weren't actually singing all those songs no. on the album. No, I said... And I said that should be the next project. Original artists, yes. Not no. here to talk about me. Christian. <laughs> How are you? Good, thanks, um, Christian. There's one thing that uh, is black is black galliana. Is the drink actually black or yes. is it just licorice flavour? It's actually the, the it's actually black. I'm over it's this black thing. It's making me feel sick. <laughs> well, actually. you started it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm just over the the whole black vibe. It's just making me feel sick. Nice dress you're wearing. What colour? Thank is that? you. I'm wearing black. And it looks, <laughs> and it looks lovely. James, good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon, folks. Now, uh, Simon might be interested in James Bond if he listens to some of the characters from uh, the Bond girls. You know, for example, there are lots of Russian girls. Uh, one of them is Natalia Simonova. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That'd be interesting. And there's another one in The Spy Who Loved Me, and uh, her name was Mayor Anya Amasova. And another one is uh, Halle Berry. She was called Jinx. Now, the listeners might call in with some other names for the Bond girls. Yes, they could do. <laughs> I'm a feeling James is making those up. No, I, no, no I, I know James. He's a regular caller. He wouldn't, okay. he and wouldn't he's a movie lead lover. us down the wrong path. Right, OK. Good on you, James. Thank you, James. Stephen? Yes, uh, good afternoon, folks. I have a question. How can one word take over two pieces of clothing? Mm. And, that, and that word is... Thong. <laughs> uh, yeah, we don't call it the thong here, the, the singular version that cuts you in half. That's, that's an American thing. The dental it's called thong. a G-string here, isn't it? It's, but yes, but we, of course, call flip-flops thongs. Yeah. And you don't want to get the two confused, of course. No, you don't. But it, it is a good question. Why are they both called thongs? Yeah. Well, and it someone may, will have the answer. Be... We found out about Sean Connery. We can find out about Thong. But when and you it's... think about the design, mm. they both involve yes, a, like a, a, a piece of a thing. piece of something going through. A, a... Simon, what do you wear? Uh, I for out. underwear. Dennis, you have a very fruity <laughs> sort yes. of conversation. You're uh, starting uh, and, just and, a and I, fool. And the answer is that I don't. So. Oh, what? please. We'll need a oh, commercial no. break. I'm going to let the newsroom. 
Friday lunch for the Blind Factory, Melbourne's most talked about blind company, and Belmont Stereo, celebrating 40 years as an audio specialist. Sees Jayco, the Jayco Almost Summer Sale is on right now. Sizzling Jayco deals include Swift Camper Trailers from 16490. A Starcraft Pop Top, I've never seen a man eat so much as Simon Owen. Starcraft Pop Top from 25490. Are you still eating, Simon? Yes, it's still got coriander Don't in it, Don't talk with your mouth full on the radio. Star Very unprofessional. Starcraft Caravans from 41490. And Conquest Motorhomes from 99990. Mm. Are you excited about those deals? Absolutely. <laughs> You'll also find deals across their new and used range of campus. See, Grubby would never do that, would he? No, never. No. no. He, so, he would swallow, and yeah, so would I, every today, time. Today, Dennis is working with Grotty and Dee Dee. <laughs> yes. Campers, caravans, pop-tops, expanders, and, <laughs> and motorhomes. Prestige Jayco Almost Summer Sale is on now. They're great people. It's on until September 20. That's tomorrow week. Uh, Bellarine Highway, Geelong, discover the freedom. Have you heard Pink? Gil McLaughlin, who used to be Gillen, but he's now Gil, and Daniel Andrews is now Dan. But Gil hooked on a feeling, a bit of the hoff for next year's uh, grand final, as recommended by S. Owens. Hey, now, wouldn't this go well at Whose the grand final? Whose song was that? Not his. No, uh, who? There were two versions. There was the, the guys who started it with the Ooga Chugga Ooga Chugga Yes, thing. yes, yes. You could get the uh, crowd doing it. And? Oh, they, get the crowd doing Ooga Chugga. It had a little resurgence when Ali McBeal was big on telly. Yes, because there was the a dancing, dancing baby. baby. Thank you. And yep. uh, I just finished watching Ali McBeal about a Blue year ago. It was a good show. I loved it. Mm. I bought the box set. Cause DJ I Thomas had this as well. I think he wrote Did it. Did BJ Thomas do this? Yes. I think he wrote it. I only, I only <laughs> remember me, him doing it. Mama. Didn't BJ Thomas do Mama? Um, mm. Hooked on a feeling written by Mark James, but it was inspiration was um, <laughs> BJ Thomas. <laughs> BJ Thomas. <laughs> Dee Dee, can you please wave to the uh, webcam oh. because Doug is listening. Hello, Doug. Well, I don't know where he's he looking we're at the back Uncle, of my head. I think we'll Uncle be on Doug. That camera. I'll, I'll just general Hello. wave. Hello. Yeah. Hello, I'm not everybody. doing big waves. I've got tuck shop arms. Anthony. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Um, do, you, do you want some more black stuff? Yes, please. What, what, what about with the shoe sauce? Oh. No, don't like it. Oh, no. oh you are soy sauce. Soy sauce. <laughs> soy sauce oh, I like soy sauce. Oh, I like soy sauce. Oh, I do. Great. I do. There's a lot of little fish in my pantry. I just tidied them up this morning. You know, the kids go off and they buy sushi for lunch, and in their bags, oh, the yeah. little fish. Yeah, and I, they just throw the leftovers in the pantry. There's a huge pot of them in there. You open your I've own cornered, shop. I've cornered the world market on soy sauce. Excellent news. Mm. Uh, do you have use you light got, or, have you also or heavy? Two questions at once. Yes. Sorry, sorry, it's your show, Dennis. Do you okay. like soy? But you're my guest. Please. I Go do ahead. like soy. Yes, I do. I yes, was, Simon. I was just going to ask if if all of my missing pens are in your cupboard as well. Possibly. I don't have no idea where all my I'm pens are. I'm a big go. pen picker upper. Ah, uh, Adriana. How are you going? Good. <laughs> it's good. I don't think anyone's mentioned it yet, but um, when we were kids, our father used to buy us black pudding. Revolting. Mm. We, it has been <laughs> mentioned, and it's made us sick again. Thanks, Adriana. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, on, sorry yeah. about that. Oh, and I just uh, one other thing about the choo choo bars. You, I know you can still buy them, uh, like the lady did mention, but they're not the same. They're, the choo choo bars that we used to buy for five cents, DD, had um, like a soft, mushy, um, what do you call it, licorice first, and then you'd get to the hard bits. Oh, no, I remember no. them as being like a flat but, strap yeah. and really and hard. Solid, yeah. yeah. You had to yeah. suck it on for hours. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, you couldn't bite through it. Did you forget a Big hard. Charlie? Big Charlies were the other... <laughs> hey, just to keep it clean. A Big you Charlie. A Big <laughs> Charlie was it was about a foot long oh, yeah. and pink. Yes. Yep. And it was a chewing gum. Never heard of it. Really? Big Charlie. I went to Baxter Primary School. Now, this would be the late 60s, and there was a... Was this a peninsula thing? <laughs> but yeah, it's a milk bar across the road. Big, they and all the, had Big Charlies down And there. if you Is could get right? the whole thing in your mouth. I'm very happy for them. Uh, we'll be back shortly with more calls. 96900-693 and uh, the censorship board. Very rude. Apian knows you can't rush experience, and, and you can't buy it. That's one of the reasons they like to reward it. Imagine you're in your dream kitchen, Dee Dee. Why me? Why not Simon? Oh, Simon, well, he wouldn't be in the kitchen because he'd be at the table eating. eating. And I'm in it and I'm barefoot and pregnant. Okay, well, w what cooking appliances, dishwasher and fridge can you see? What oh. would you like? Would you like a... a Big, shiny, clean ones that work. What have you got for me? Ones. Offer me something. Now we're going... There we go. We've just walked down the hallway. No, I love cooking. What and have you got? We're, no, we're in the bathroom now. The oh. ultimate 
bathroom. Oh. Just picture the perfect basin, bath and shower. Mm. No mirror in mine. Mine's got Bradley Cooper in it with no clothes on. <laughs> in the bath. Well, just waiting just for you. In there Surrounded by rose petals. <laughs> You're in the ideal laundry now. Imagine a new washer and dryer to suit your family's needs. Why would Dee Dee leave the bathroom if that naked bloke's because in there? Because maybe Bradley's gone in there to fluff my towels for me. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. Bradley's in the bathroom it's a new expression, getting boy. the towels ready. Now, imagine a store that has every appliance and product for your dream home and all under the one roof. Where would it be? Oh, that'd be E&S Trading, I oh, would imagine. No, you finished your role. That's good. Oh, Open seven days with stores right across Melbourne and Geelong. E&S Trading for everything. Kitchen, bathroom and laundry. ESTrading.com.au At Liquorland. Uh, he's, he's deceased, isn't he? Yes. As far as I know. But what a t- how would he be if he was still oh, around the grand at the grand final? final. Yeah. His spirit lives on in that bachelor bloke. He's got the same voice. Everything he says is like that. In oh, really? that voice, yes. I've never heard you speak like that. Wow. Uh, I'm with Dee Dee, uh, writes, writes Lynn. I'm 51 years old and I grew up in Keela, Keela, Keela with Big Charlie. Good, thank you. Now, the closest we had with the word big in it was the Big Boss Cigars. Yes. The, the candy yes. cigars. Mm-hmm. The big man of news coming up, Tony Tardio. Uh, Stephen. Speaking of voices. How you going? Yeah, good. There was a guy that was talking about the Bond girls or whatever earlier. Yeah. He missed the biggest and the best one of the lot. That was called Pussy Galore. Oh, of On a Blackman. Yes, Dennis knows. On a Blackman. Oh, and I had at another the time, email. was that just the sauciest thing ever? Yes. Her name. Yeah. Now, that you was, know, now it's really lame. That isn't was it? Goldfinger. <laughs> Goldfinger and Cam's oh, also God. suggested that. Hello, Gail. So. Go ahead, Gail. Yes, look, we talking about bubble gums. There used to be little ones, square ones called bellboys. And we used to have little, paper, like, script uh, cartoons in them. And we used to use the, there was a licorice and a, a pink flavour. And we used to use them when we put them on our teeth and pretend we had no teeth. Oh, with yes. The licorice. Do you yep. remember those, yep. CD? Yeah. It was worth putting up with the horrible taste just for the horror factor of not having front teeth scare the living daylights out of mum. Did, Philip, did Philip. you ever use the, the false teeth, the lolly teeth? Oh, that was yes. good fun. That, yeah. You can still get those. We oh, have yeah, those no, on, this, on the weekend break. But the pink gum has ble- it blends in with the white teeth now, so they don't look real. Philip Brady has rung to say that Barry White is very dead and won't be at the grand final. Well, Thank he, you, Philip, for Phil, your input. Phil's good. our death specialist. He's across everyone who's <laughs> alive and dead. Oh, is he? That's how he opens the show every night. Oh, buddy, so-and-so died today. Good on him. No, I love it. That's good. I used to read the death notices and the uh, Dee Dee, we'll yes. be listening on the weekend. Thank you. We'll be back at two tomorrow and then after the grand final's over, it's whole summer. Uh, Simon, thank you. It's a pledge. After the news, the lady who plays Brooke Logan on The Bold and the Beautiful, Catherine King Kelly. Afternoons free in Australia, the renovator sale in Sunday. And I did love working with Dee Dee. Oh, oh thank we you, Simon. both did. Here's the news. The latest.